We got a very interesting opinion from a streamer here who claims that uh, his mother watched Harry Potter because she has never seen the movies before. And since it's been so long, he watched as well. And he noticed that at Quidditch, the teams are made of men and women. And therefore, J.K. Rowling couldn't have written the same Harry Potter you love in her current deranged mindset. She would have used Quidditch as an opportunity to make a commentary on trans people in sports. So, uh, very interesting, the fact that uh, this person believes that J.K. Rowling is deranged. When Romania benefited from communism, we actually had an entire branch of medicine called punitive psychiatry. And this is where deranged authors would go, like people who would say that socialism isn't the best system ever. Well, clearly they were mentally insane and they needed treatment. And uh, once you went into one of those mental asylums, they would uh, put you on drugs. You, you would be like, and that's it. Like no one would uh, ever see you. No one would never know if you exist. A very good way for the system to get rid of dissidents. But this particular theory is very interesting. Let me see if I can also make interesting theories myself. All right, let me put my blue hair on. I my, my cartoon avatar on Twitter. And now I become intelligent. I become enlightened. You know, I may even open a channel on Twitch. That's how smart I am now. So I'm making a theory, okay? Hogwarts, the video game, shows that it supports transgender rights. Because in the beginning of the game, you get to choose whether you want to play as a boy or a girl. Had this game be done by J.K. Rowling's involvement, you wouldn't get to choose. You'd have been assigned. You would have started the game and randomly you would be assigned a boy or a girl. But because the game allows you for choice, it proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that J.K. Rowling didn't have much involvement within this product. Huh? Am I big braining? I, I am so big braining right now, I have blue hair, I told you. But in all reality, Quidditch is just something that looks good on camera. I mean, even the people who tried to make Quidditch into an actual game, and yes, they do exist, and yes, they did change the name of Quidditch because J.K. Rowling. But uh, even they had to change the rules because the rules are moronic. Then you have the weight category. Like, there is no way Harry Potter, I don't know how old is he in this movie, but, like, he would be competing against someone that looks like this. Like, it's a completely different weight category. Like, he, he would get injured. Because it's a very dangerous sport. You, you're putting a broom between the kids' legs and they are flying at ridiculous high speeds in the air. There is no way they would allow someone... Like, and, and they don't even have protection. Okay, so uh, the, the game is just supposed to look cool. You're not supposed to look into it. But if you really want to look into it, yeah, I don't see why women wouldn't be able to play given the fact that it is a magical universe, right? So they do have magic. Uh, a, a powerful female spellcaster can be just as strong as a man because we are not talking in physical strength, we're talking in magical abilities. So this isn't like boxing, MMA, swimming, where it's highly intensive and uh, the strength of the person is very important. Here is the magical ability, and I do not know if in J.K. Rowling's universe uh, women have more or less magical ability than men. I think it's equal from what is being described. It's more about how much you're studying, how much you're learning. So, yeah, in this situation, it, th this is why it doesn't bother people. But if you want to make the argument that, yes, in the movies, J.K. Rowling was a different person, and then, uh, as Xander Hall says, uh, she became deranged, right? She, she has a deranged mind state. No, I disagree. Uh, there is segregation between the genders within the movies themselves. I mean, there is a male bathroom, and there is a female bathroom. Now, I was uh, told that, no, actually, Harry Potter, uh, he got the journal from the female bathroom. And I'm like, yeah, sure, but, like, just because there is a female bathroom doesn't mean that there is an invisible wall which would stop Harry Potter from entering it. The reason he managed to enter the girls' bathroom, it's been a while since i seen the movie, so I don't really remind, remember, uh, but there was no teacher there. Like, there was no one to stop him. And he heard the disturbance, so he went in to investigate. It's, it's not like he was a peeping Tom or went in there to do the tinkle. He went in there with other reasons, which is to investigate. I mean, almost every single man in their entire life 
has probably got into a woman's bathroom once. Like, the men's bathroom was out of order, the women's bathroom was completely empty, no one was there, and you're thinking, you know what? Now's the time. The moment is upon us. The prophecy shall be fulfilled. So, it's not like just because Harry Potter managed to go into the women's bathroom once, that means that J.K. Rowling uh, didn't add to types of bathrooms in the movies. Uh, but there's even more evidence, the dormitories. Like, you have a dorm for the men and a dorm for the women. And I, as I remember, if, if my memory serves, if you were a boy and you tried to climb up to the girls' uh, bedroom, the stairs actually turned into a slide, so you're being pushed all the way back down. So, no, like, th th there is clear evidence that J.K. Rowling didn't actually change her mind since making the books uh, and the movies and up until today, right? Like uh, an evil demonic spirit, an evil entity has uh, possessed J.K. Rowling. And now, according to Xander, how she's, she's got like this uh, deranged mind state. No, the, the woman just uh, happens to be a very progressive individual. She's a third wave feminist that disagrees on the transgender uh, issue with modern day progressives. All right. She's not deranged. She, she is not insane. You just happen to disagree with her. As far as I know, she hasn't committed any crime. Uh, she, she hasn't murdered anyone. I've listened to her on interviews. She sounds very coherent. She's still capable of writing. Although not as good as she used to be. Maybe her views have changed a little bit. I mean, uh, given the level of vitriol and hatred that she received. Because I'm looking at her Twitter. Okay, I, I see what's going on there. And uh, it doesn't paint a pretty picture. So it is possible that with the level of hatred and vitriol that she's getting on a daily basis, some of her political opinions may have changed. Her political compass may have suffered a little bit of realignment. But I would not call her deranged. Uh, and again, it doesn't matter on which side of the issue you are. I mean, you can agree or disagree with her. But I wouldn't say that she had the previous mind state uh, about this particular subject, only given to the fact that the Quidditch teams... Uh, had men and women in them. It's also possible as a way to film it better, right? Because like if you were to film two separate teams, one of men and one of women, it takes more time. And uh, usually, especially in these types of projects where uh, the movie is required to be of a certain time limit, you can't have all the scenes you want in them. You have to give away a couple. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. And if you really like the channel, and for some reason you'd want to support it, I would be very grateful if you provide me with a super thanks.